Let's now introduce ourselves to the idea of a differential equation. And as we'll see, differential equations are super useful for modeling and simulating phenomena and understanding how they operate. But we'll get into that later. For now, let's just think about, or at least look at, what a differential equation actually is. So if I were to write, so let's, here's an example of a differential equation. If I were to write that the second derivative of y plus two times the first derivative of y is equal to three times y, this right over here is a differential equation. Another way we could write it, if we said that y is a function of x, we could write this in function notation. We could write the second derivative of our function with respect to x plus two times the first derivative of our function is equal to three times our function. Or if we wanted to use the, the Leibniz notation, we could also write, we could also write the second derivative of y with respect to x plus two times the first derivative of y with respect to x is equal to three times y. All three of these, I guess, uh, equations are really representing the same thing. They're saying, okay, can I find functions where the second derivative of the function plus two times the first derivative of the function is equal to three times the function itself? So just to be clear, these are all essentially saying the same thing. And you might have just caught from how I described it that the solution to a differential equation is a function or a class of functions. It's not just a value or a set of values. So the solution here, so the solution to a differential equation is a, is a function is a function or a set of functions or a class of functions. And it's important to contrast this relative to a traditional equation. So let me write that down. So a traditional equation, I guess I could say, maybe I shouldn't say traditional equation. Differential equations have been around for a while. So let me write this as a, maybe an algebraic equation that you're familiar with. Algebraic, an algebraic equation might look something like, and I'll just write a, a simple quadratic, Say x squared, x squared plus three x plus two is equal to zero. The solutions to this algebraic equation are going to be numbers or a set of numbers. We can solve this as going to be x plus two times x plus one is equal to zero. So x could be equal to negative two or x could be equal to negative one. The solutions here are numbers or a set of or, or, or a set of values or set of values that satisfy that satisfy the equation. Here it's a relationship between a function and its derivatives. And so the solutions or the solution is going to be a function or a set of functions. Now how let's let's make that a little bit more tangible. What would a solution to something like any of these three, which really represent the same thing, what would a solution actually look like? And actually let me move over to the let me move this over a little bit. Move this a little bit so that we can take a look at what some of these solutions could look like. And let me erase this little, this little stuff that I have right over here. So, and I'm just gonna give you examples of solutions here. We'll verify that these indeed are solutions for, I guess this is really just one differential equation represented in different ways, but will hopefully appreciate what a solution to a differential equation looks like. And that there is often more than one solution or that there's a whole class of functions that could be a solution. So one solution to this differential equation, and I'll just write it as our first one. So one solution, I'll call it y1, and I could even write it as y1 of x to make it explicit that it is a function of x. One solution is y1 of x is equal to e to the negative three x. And I encourage you to pause this video right now and find the first derivative of y1 and the second derivative of y1 and verify that it does indeed satisfy this differential equation. So I'm assuming you've had a go at it, so let's work through this together. So that's y1. So the first derivative of y1, well this is going to be, let's see, we just have to do the chain rule here, derivative of negative three x with respect to x is just negative three, and the derivative of e to the negative three x with respect to negative three x is just e to the negative three x. And if we take the second derivative, y of y1, this is equal to, same exact idea, derivative of this is negative three times negative three is gonna be nine e to the negative three x. 
And now we can just substitute these values into the differential equation, or these expressions into the differential equation to verify that this is indeed going to be true for this function. So let's verify that. So let me, so we first have what the second derivative of y. So that's that term right over there. So we have 9e to the negative 3x plus, plus 2 times the first derivative. So that's going to be 2 times this right over here. So it's going to be net minus 6. So I'll just write plus negative 6 e to the negative 3x. Notice I just took this 2 times the first derivative. 2 times the first derivative is going to be equal to, or needs to be equal to, if this indeed does satisfy, if y1 does, does indeed satisfy the, differen the differential equation, this needs to be equal to 3 times y. Well, 3 times y is 3 times e to the negative 3x. 3e to the negative 3x. And let's see if that indeed is true. So these two terms right over here, 9e to the negative 3x, essentially minus 6e to the negative 3x. That's going to be 3e to the negative 3x. Which is indeed, which is indeed equal to 3e to the negative 3x. So y1 is indeed a solution to this differential equation. But as we'll see, it is not the only solution to this differential equation. For example, for example, let's say let's say a y2 is equal to e e to the x is also a solution to this differential equation. And I encourage you to pause the video again and verify that it's a solution. So assuming you've had a go at it, so the first derivative of this, this is pretty straightforward, is e to the x. Second derivative is one of the profound things of the exponential function. The second derivative here is also e to the x. And so if I have, so the second derivative, let me just do it in those same colors. So the second derivative, it's going to be e to the x, e to the x, plus two times e to the x plus 2 times e to the x is indeed going to be equal to 3 times e to the x. 3 times e to the x. This is absolutely going to be true. e to the x plus 2 to the x is 3 e to the x. So y2 is also a solution to this differential equation. So that's a start. In the next few videos, we'll explore this more. We'll start to see what the solutions look like, what classes of solutions are, techniques for solving them, visualizing solutions to differential equations, and a whole toolkit for, for kind of digging in and deeper.